Okay, we're going to have a look at uh, printing to PDF, which is quite an important tool. Um, I recommend you print to a PDF before you actually print to your printer. So from this A3 sheet that we just created, we're now going to plot that onto a PDF for either emailing or printing. So uh, file or uh, Revit and print, and we'll go print. So you've got a few options here. Now I'm using Adobe PDF. Um, you could download a free one like Primo PDF or um, yeah, just wherever you can find on the internet a PDF PDF creator. And so that's the uh, printer that I'm printing to. Next down here it says print range. Now I usually go selected views and sheets. And what this comes up with is all the views and all the sheets that you have in your project. So I'm going to uncheck views. I actually want to print a sheet and it'll come up with that one sheet that I created in the last video so we're going to tick that I'm going to say OK do you want to save these settings? No um, and then over here the important one is to look at the setup as well so we'll go to the Adobe PDF setup now you've got to make sure that the paper size is the same size as the sheet that you created which is an A3 it's landscape which is fine um, placement center, that's fine. This is probably the most important one out of all these um, settings is the zoom. Never have fit to page. Always zoom it to 100% of the size and that's where, that way you know that it's going to be scaled correctly. If you don't do that, you're going to have it, you're going to have scaling issues. So um, you can change the appearance. Uh, yeah, there's your quality and whether you want colors, black lines or grayscale, doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you've got that zoom at 100% of the size so you know it's scaled. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to click OK. Um, it might give you some warnings about Revit, uh, about um, raster um, printing, which is fine. So just close that. And then we're going to get to choose where to save this file to. I'm just going to continue that. Okay, so on my desktop, we're just going to call it sheet A102. There we go. And just save that. Then this PDF is going to print. And after it's done that, it's going to give me um, a preview of what it looks like. There we go. So I know my PDF has been printed. And that's what it's going to look like. So if I went to the printer, um, I know to print out at the printer at um, 100% and everything, all my scale drawings are going to be scaled correctly. Okay, so that's printing to a PDF. Very simple.